Uh, now we're just going to review these a little bit, so finish up the rest of these and see some blood gases that have compensation. So number six, uh, we have a pH of 7.42, and that is? Normal. Normal. No. Yeah. Yeah. CO2 of 18 is? Alkalotic. Alkalotic. Bicarb of 11 is? Acidotic. Acidotic. Okay, now which one? Ah. We have a normal pH, right? Yeah. We have a normal pH, but we know we have an acid-base imbalance because the CO2 and the bicarb are abnormal, right? Mm -hmm. So now what we have to do is go back to the pH and ask, what side of 7.4 does the pH lie on? It lies on the alkalotic side. All right, see, see now you can match it up? It's going to match up with... Yeah, yeah, match up with the CO2, so we have a respiratory alkalosis, and then we have full compensation, right? Because it brought the pH back into the normal range, mm -hmm. so full compensation. Now, the oxygen saturation is okay, but what about the PO2? Patients on supplemental oxygen. Patients on supplemental oxygen. So what is going on with this patient? This patient has too much oxygen, right? In addition, the patient also is getting, is ventilating too much, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so the patient's blowing off CO2. This is probably a patient who's either on a ventilator or who is on BiPAP, because we're blowing off a lot of CO2, and at the same time we are getting too much O2. Okay, the number seven, we have a pH of 7.35, and that is? Normal. Normal. CO2 of 60 is? Acidotic. Acidotic. And our bicarb of 32 is? Alkalotic. Alkalotic. So which one matches the pH? Again, you've got to go back to that pH and say, what side is 7.4? Respiratory acidosis. So the acidotic side, so it would be a respiratory acidosis with what kind of compensation? Full compensation. All right, now when you look at a blood gas like this and you see a normal pH, the thing that's going to drive you to go back and say, what side of 7.4 does it lie on, is going to be the fact that you've got abnormal values. The CO2 is abnormal, and so is the bicarb. So when you look at that normal pH, you can't say, well, it's a normal blood gas, because the pH is normal. See, because we have abnormalities in the CO2 and the bicarb. So then what we have to do is we have to go back and we have to say, okay, what side of 7.4 is it lie on? because we have a fully compensated blood gas. Now, the blood gas is always going to go to the side of 7.4 from the primary disorder. In other words, our compensation gets the pH back to normal, but it doesn't overcompensate and bring the pH to the other side. So this could not be a, rest, uh, I'm sorry, a metabolic alkalosis with respiratory overcompensation. You follow me on that? Okay, the problem always lies on the side of the primary disorder. Compensation moves the, the pH back up into the normal range and then stops. It won't overcompensate and move it up above 7.4. Right. So it either brings it up or brings it down and stops when we get into the normal range. Okay, then in number seven, we have a PO2 of 92 and oxygen saturation of 96%, so we have... No hypoxemia, right? Okay. Now, this patient here has got a high CO2. Maybe you're COPD or high CO2. Maybe this patient's on oxygen. That's why the patient's got okay oxygenation. So, a COPD or the patient's on oxygen, the oxygen is okay, but the CO2 is high. Are we going to treat this CO2 in this COPD? No. No, because. The pH is normal, and we have compensation. Okay, now do you see how that concept that we talked about yesterday, how that fits in here? Okay. Number eight, we have a pH of 7.37, and that is? Normal. Normal. CO2 of 33 is? Alkalotic. Alkalotic. And then our bicarb of 18 is? Acidotic. Acidotic. Once again, you know you have a pH abnormality, so we have to go back to the pH and say, what side of 7.4 does it lie on? On the acidotic side, now you can match it up. What other value is acidotic? Metabolic. Bicarb, so it's a metabolic acidosis. 
with fully compensated. compensated. Fully compensated, right? Okay, again, when we have compensation, I always mark it as being full or partial. What is partial compensation? When the pH doesn't get back to normal. Okay? All right, now our PO2 and EO2 saturation in this one are? Normal. Number eight. <laughs> normal, right? Okay, one more. Number nine, we have a pH 7.36, and that is? Normal. Normal. CO2 is 62 is? Acidotic. Acidotic. Our bicarb of 34 is? Acidotic. Alkalosis. Alkalotic because it's high, right? Right, so we got to go back to the pH and say, what side of 7.4 does the pH lie on? Acidotic. Acidotic side? Respiratory acidosis with? Okay, but what kind of compensation? Full, Full compensation, compensation and? Respiratory acidosis with hypoxemia. Yes, and, that, and hypoxemia, okay? So we've got the, you know, both the PO2 and the oxygen saturation are a little bit low. So this might be more typical of your COPD -er, who's fully compensated. Has both the low PO2 and the low oxygen saturation along with having the high CO2. And the fact that they're fully compensated, even though they're hypo hypoxemic, don't, we don't treat. Exactly. Unless, obviously, we do change. Exactly. So the fact that they're fully compensated, we're not going to treat it. We're just going to leave it alone. You guys did good on these today. Is it clicking a little bit better than yesterday yes. with the blood gases? Again, if you want more practice with them, go to the ABG site that I showed you yesterday. It's www.theabgsite.com. Okay? And you can get more information. You can get more practice examples, etc. Okay? What if the pH of this example mine is 7.40? Which side are you on? Acidotic, alkalotic. pH 7.40. Oh, okay, that's right in the middle. In the middle. All right, so in that case, if you had a pH of 7.4 and you had an abnormality, yeah. it would be harder to figure out. Then you've got to go back to your clinical presentation and try and figure out which thing you think is really causing the problem. But usually compensation won't get you all the way back up to 7.4 okay. or back down to 7.4. But I have, you know, interesting you mentioned that because I have seen a blood gas like that. And, in fact, we had to go back and we had to say, what's the bigger problem? The bigger problem was the respiratory problem, so we figured it was a respiratory acidosis, and then the patient had s just too much compensation for some reason. Okay, but that's an unusual situation. If that was the case, then you got to go back to your patient's clinical presentation.